there's a new extension manager in Visual Studio. In this video, we're going to look at what has changed as well as how to enable or disable it. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology. But sometimes, you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10-minute training series. So, in Visual Studio, and I have the latest version of Visual Studio, which as of right now is 17.10.2. So in Visual Studio, the old extension manager looks like this. So you extensions, manage extensions, and this is what it looked like. You have multiple pages, it's this modal pop-up window, and you can't click behind it, and it's just, it's, it's kind of small, especially with my larger font size. And the team has been looking to make some changes. For example, when I look at ReSharper or Visual Assist, what can I see here? Well, not much. I can see the name and a brief description. And if I click on this, for example, I can't see the rest after TH, uh, unless I mouse over it and then I can kind of see a little bit more information. But if I scroll down over here, there's not much more information. I have to click more information, which will go to the web, which it's not a great experience in this format. But with the new 17.10, by default, the new extension manager is enabled. Now I turned it off in order to show you the old way, but if it's off for you, you can go to tools, options, and under the preview features, you'll find that the extension manager UI refresh, which also means if you, for whatever reason, and I, don't, I can't find a reason yet, but if you decide you did not want to have the UI refresh for extension manager, you can uncheck that box like I had just done and get the old version again. So the new version, again, by default in 17.10, it is on. So you shouldn't have to do this at all. But now if I go to extensions, whoops, there we go. Extensions, manage extensions. Then we have this new full tab view of the, the new extension manager. As you note here on ReSharper, we don't just have ReSharper in a, a one line description. We actually have the full a page you would see if you went to the website for this extension. In fact, you can go to view in browser and see it. Same with Visual Assist, you have all the cool screenshots and videos and other things that you might need in order to understand what this extension is and what it does. This is a really big upgrade in being able to peruse through the extension manager to find new and possibly interesting extensions. So this is a nice upgrade. And again, it's in a tab, so you can get behind this if you wanted to, you know, open something else as well. You can uh, do that without having to, you know, keep this up all the time. It's not a modal window that takes over control of the screen. Up here on the left, we have browse and then installed and then updates and a roaming extensions. Extensions that are roaming mean that you can install them from other machines, meaning like if you install on one machine, you could say, hey, I want that again, this machine too, and you can grab it from there. So in this case, you know, here's my list of extensions that I could get from, um, that I, you know, have installed on this machine, but I could then install on a different machine more easily because it's roaming, because I've, I'm logged in. Um, there's a couple of things here that I'm not a fan of yet, and this is just growing pains. So if we look here under, like say, um, this one is probably a good example, and my window's um, full screen right now, but um, that's a long name, and it still fits in pretty well, but then it has a very, very small version number. I don't love that. This comes from the fact that yours will look different. This comes from the fact that I have my font sizes increased, but it's not really pulling from those font sizes correctly um, because I can't make it decrease. I haven't found a way to make it decrease and I can't make a way for these to increase. So the URL for the, the uh, extension, as well as the number of downloads, as well as the number of stars, the, the number itself, they're all very much smaller and yet the stars are bigger. So it makes weird alignments. So there's some, the, some things to kind of work on in this obviously is a first draft or a first um, version of this, and it will get better over time. Um, but this is a much more improved version of the extension manager than we had before. Just like before, if you have an update, you can either update all, notice, up, update al, um, again, because of the font, or yeah, font size changes, 
I think it's because the you have one update available kind of pushed that button to be smaller. Uh, and I can't make this bigger. So I can't ever see installed update or roaming the full words and or update all. But that is update all or update. So it, for example, I have Uno installed. Well, it needs an update. So I hit update all or update and it will schedule those for when Visual Studio is closed, just like before. So that's how updates work. We'll close Visual Studio and we'll, it will pop up an update and we'll be good to go. Um, besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. You To uninstall something, that's, that's one other thing that's kind of weird. Um, these are the installed extensions. Well, how would you uninstall? I would assume that next to install would be a button or a button over here in the right that says uninstall. No, the way I do that is to go to the ellipsis on the actual element and you can see the, uh, the three dots and then there's uninstall and disable. So that's how you'd uninstall or disable. An extension is on the, the list, not on the full page for the element. So again, I expect that'll probably be something they add in the future is the buttons onto this main page instead of just under the ellipsis. But by and large, this is a significant step forward. Again, being able to browse and look through and say, hey, what does this thing do? And be able to see it, be able to see the changes, be able to see images or screenshots from the, um, from the actual extension, how it works. These are great things for extension discovery. And I encourage you, look through here and look for things that might be of interest. For example, generate a REST API client um, from your Swagger. So you could grab client code or create client code based upon the Swagger definition for your API. Really cool stuff um, that Christian's doing. So some really neat extensions here that you can kind of discover more easily because of the fact that you're going through and saying, hey, you know, what's in here? And I can see what this is very easily instead of going to the website and doing the same thing. So this is a nice upgrade. I thought you should see it again. This comes with version 17.10 of Visual Studio. If it's not enabled in 17.10 for whatever reason, it should be. Um, again, go to tools, options, under environment, there's preview features. By the way, it's a great place to look for new things. Um, it's under preview features. The other thing I'll point out is if you follow Mads Christensen, um, Mads, for example, makes the font size of 2.0, which I use to increase all the font sizes on my installation. He has some extensions in the store that are basically, uh, he's trying out new things for Visual Studio. I encourage you to check out those extensions um, because some of those might be things you wanna see someday in Visual Studio. And so the first place to find that would be in his extensions. So some great stuff here. I would encourage you to check it out, play around with it. Let me know you th what your thoughts are. And if you have any problems, then go ahead and submit an issue. So right up here in the upper right-hand corner, send feedback. You can suggest a feature or report a problem and you can specify, hey, in the extension manager, this is a problem. I've already turned in the, the font issues with this extension manager. They're working on it. But um, those are things you can, you know, participate in making these things better because they really do listen to user feedback because they want this to be a great experience for you. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.